Welcome back, it is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Uh, today we're going to try something new, but old. It's actually Creations. Um, I have not done a single video for Creations for Guns of Glory. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what to do when it comes to Creations um, since I stopped playing King of Avalon. There is a short period of time where I'm like, you know what? No. Yeah, creation's a great great thing to do. Um, great way to get some free airship experience. Granted, in King of Avalon, it's called the Dragon. Um, and a whole bunch of other great stuff every week. It'll, it should be pretty cheap to do, and they can never take it away from you. But then it got a little more expensive once they had the new gear, which is like the level 45 gear. And... Now I'm just looking at this. I didn't make any of this equipment. This is the equipment that I got when I got my account. Haven't changed it at all. I don't even know if this is the right equipment for my account. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and go through everything with you and just do a basic guide. Um, so you'll see here, this is how I'm going to determine what kind of gear this is. So it's 11,752 health. Let's go ahead and compare that to the other headgears. So I'm looking for the level 35 gear. So we have Destruction, we have Fearless, and we have Devastator. So let's go ahead and take a look at our creation and then the talent points. So we have Brutal, we have Warrior, and we have Explosive. So let me lay this out for you pretty simply. If you want to go ahead and counteract an Explosive, you want Brutal. So this is going to be good for that uh, bi-weekly um, creation arena. Warrior is going to be good if you only care about your own kingdom. So if you're just trying to go further down in the um, catacombs. An Explosive... He's going to be great at killing that warrior. It's going to be great. This is the arena guide. So if you care more about the arena and doing well in the arena and getting those rewards, you want explosive. Um, actually, so that means brutal is just like an outlier. A couple people do brutal, but not that many. Now, um, when it comes to this, choose based on your tool. So if you want to be weird and different, go brutal. If you want to... Um, Another thing I like to say for Brutal is if you have a low level, you could go ahead and get some troop um, percentages pretty easy and uh, shorter down the line with Brutal. Um, you'll see here, you got troop attack right there, 5%. So then Warrior, so if you want the extra rewards and you want to be a beast in your own kingdom, go ahead and be, uh, warrior. be a warrior. Um, if you care about the arena and you don't really care about your own kingdom that much and those rewards or you feel like it'd be too expensive to catch up to them go ahead go explosive um so if you choose that go ahead and put your town points there now if you don't care about any of this it's still important to focus on this and what i would recommend is break it up um if you're at a pretty low level i would recommend break it up and go satchel capacity because really that's all that matters Satchel capacity, satchel capacity. But as you go further down the line, it's actually going to make it a little more worthwhile to go down to these like satchel capacity too, simply because then you're getting a higher percentage and a higher difference for those levels. So I would highly recommend you do that. Now looking at it, let's go ahead and go um, look at the possible equipment. So I'm pretty much going to focus on the orange. No reason to that, but here we go. Devastator is going to be your Brutal. So if you're out there, be Brutal. Uh, be a Devastator. Fearless is going to come out to that middle tier for worrying about your own kingdom. Um, and then if you care more about your arena abilities, you're going to want to get Destruction. Now you'll notice I have all Destruction, but then I go for that middle tier for the uh, going further down in the Catacombs. Why did I do this? Well, I haven't touched it at all since I started playing this game. Um, 
that was actually a mistake. So that's just not the correct way to go. I actually have it all wrong, and I highly discourage you all from doing this. What I do recommend is saying, okay, I want to go further down in the catacombs, but I also want to maximize my ability of doing well. In this case, I recommend you actually do an offset gear setup. So let's say I have all destruction equipment. Well, a good thing to do would be, okay, if I'm all destruction, I might want to go for that fearless mask. I'm gaining a lot more uh, creation health and a good amount of creation defense, which will allow me to stay alive a little longer. I'll have a little more ability to survive in an arena. And it's actually fantastic. I recommend if you're going to do this offset kind of thing, you only do one uh, piece of equipment that is going to be offset. And that has been proven to give you a slight stat bonus uh, compared to someone who is all just one type of equipment. One thing to keep in mind when you do this is that you also want to keep all of your talent points relatively in the same lineup. So you, even if I'm going to do one explosive, I want to keep all of my talent points in this warrior. So keep that in mind, and when you go in the catacombs, you need to build up your equipment. Now, if you want to be in the top for your own kingdom, you're really going to have to spend the money to do this. You need to have those level 45 uh, pieces of equipment, and you can't attain those from the uh, catacomb trader. So I highly recommend that in order to um, be at the top, you have to spend some money, get those higher levels experience-wise, and then buy your equipment pieces so you could enhance them to a higher level. Um, the residence bonus is a great tool. I highly recommend that you go striving for that. That's at a level 5. That could potentially put you over the limit to get a good deal. Now another thing to keep in mind is even at plus 5, these level 35s do not compare to the level 45s um, for the same type. The level 45s are just statistically better. So keep that in mind. But if you want to just go and you're like, okay, I don't care about this, but I care about the rewards from the Catacomb Shredder. Like, I care about the parts. I care about the resources. And sometimes I want some accolades. Well, fantastic. You know what I recommend to you? I recommend that you do what I recommended with the talent points. And in addition to that, you put a whole bunch of research. Let's go ahead and keep off our equipment and uh, research gemstones and go ahead and take a look at the creation. So as far as creation goes, satchel capacity, boom, right here. This is all you need to look at. And you just keep grinding this out. And with that being said, yeah, it takes some days, but... In the end, it will be worth it as you'll be able to pull out more coins uh, per time. Another thing that you would want to focus on as well would be your cooldown. Whoops. Accidentally made this smaller screen. Let's go ahead and fix that. All right. So, don't be dumb like I am, but let's get out of defense. We're not doing that right now. And let's go over to creation. So, let's go ahead and click on defense again. And we want to go ahead and go into the catacombs cooldown. Now, this will allow you to basically go into the catacombs more often per week. So, this will be extremely helpful if you want to go ahead and get more resources per day and maximize that satchel capacity that you're working on. Basically, this is my first time doing a creation video. Um, it's not very widely popularized. It's a lot of work. You definitely need a VIP 8 or higher in order to make it worth it. And let's go ahead and take a look at 
the rewards that you could get for doing this. So if you let's say you know you're just an average Joe and you want to rank within like the top hundreds, so you're gonna get some good stuff, but not really. Airship wrench, advanced ability to design fragment chest, you're never gonna use it. It is not worth it. It is absolute trash. But let's say you're able to rank in the top 100. Now you're gonna get some refining chat crests. You're gonna get some refining stones. And that's just fantastic, but then you're also going to get some good rewards too. We're talking General Dumas, never heard of him. Who is she? A basic nobility gem uh, jewel, level 2. So you could choose any one of these. Dirangatang, uh, times 20, Justice Gemstone Chest. Like these are some pretty solid rewards. And as you know, you score better, the rewards get even better. And that's just beautiful. Now I'm really questioning who this General Dumas is. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. But another thing that I want to mention while I'm doing this is, hey, what about crests? Cap, you never really mentioned crests. Well, crest, I think it's very similar to um, having little gemstones in your gear compared and now this is just having gemstones in your gear for your creation basically the more you spend the better they're gonna be yada 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 try to have some nice uh crests but you could get the higher tier crests and they will get you even more of a bonus so really try to match up your crests to your creation so if you're gonna be a warrior you want to have something along the lines of more health and more defense that's going to be best um, so keep that in mind and I hope this video helps you all get a little better idea of what you should be focusing on and if you guys want to see more of these types of videos please let me know and I will study up on it more and I'll actually make a better video because this video sucks I hope you guys all hate me for this but who cares? I'm going to post it anyway because I don't care. So with that being said, this is Captain Cowboy. I hope you all enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all the latest videos and reach out to me if you want an account guide. I'd be more than happy to help you on anything you guys would like. So hit me up in the DM, slide on up in there. And I look forward to seeing you all there. Take care.